So one of the things that I am continually working on being very new in the sport is um, my time trial position. For Christmas, I've just got a new set of um, handlebars uh, or cockpit or whatever you want to call it. Um, this is going to help me optimise my position uh, both from a comfort point of view and also from an aerodynamic point of view. So on my current cockpit, um, you can see you've got these flaring up. Um, it's not very in a linear, straight line, not very aerodynamic. Um, great starting point for me, but um, now that I'm starting to do some of these bigger races where the time difference makes even bigger of a you know, an effect to the overall results. Um, I need to work on a little bit more aero and I'm not spending much time in this with these anyway. So even though uh, the design is comfortable, um, I'm not using it. Uh, so this is where I need to be working on. Um, what the new bar should allow is it should allow me to get the pads closer together um, and it will also give me more range um, to work on this position. It will allow more... Um, the, bar, the new bars that I've got are a lot better at uh, being very adjustable. So um, like I said, this is what I've been using currently, but I'm, I need to upgrade it because um, this position, this bike was only set up as a, as a kind of best case with what we had. Um, but now that I've got some prize money and some results from the events, um, I'm able to upgrade, upgrade some of the components on it. So I'm gonna do that now for uh, going going to get a bike fit later. Before I could put on the new handlebars I had to remove the original ones. This meant disassembling the brakes and all the gear levers. Luckily for me my system is all electronic which makes it very easy to simply unplug and pull through. I used string and attached it to the brake cable to pull it through the frame and this was an easy guide for them when putting on the new handlebars to pull back through. Once the brake cable is out of the way you can access the bolt to untighten the brake levers and then you can just pull them out. I then used some plastic to help feed through the new handlebars with the gear cables. Today I'll be getting a bike fit from Mike at Velo Motions in Milton Keynes. I've been working with Mike since 2015 and he uses a combination of the Retool Bike Fit software as well as his experience within the industry. There was two main reasons why I originally went to Mike for a bike fit. The first reason was I was getting hamstring referral pain when riding and also when running off of the bike and I was also getting a horrible stomach cramp when I was getting off the bike to going into run, especially during hard bike sections, which for ITU is not ideal. Ever since then, I haven't had these repercussions and it has drastically improved my power and speed that I can achieve on the bike, as well as my running performance off of the bike. So, so many crazy things, but you are a long, long way up that saddle. Is that just kind of where that's comfortable, is it? What? Um, uh, I would say yes. Um, I mean, I'm always really at the front when I'm racing. Yeah, yeah. There's quite a few photos where I'm literally just like this. Yeah. Um, I would say once I go too far back, I can then start feeling it rubbing. Yeah, okay. So I, don't, I think I then go. I mean, probably say that's kind of where I'd sit. But I mean, I'm going to get you off there because that front end is far too high at the minute. Even when we're taking out that space, so, so do you want to um, jump yourself off there a sec? Yep. I've really underestimated how high those bars are, but we have got 30 minute spaces to play with. And you still got a little bit more. Yeah. Well, in the extreme, would be change out the stem angle as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a consideration because at least then you can keep this base bar nice and low. I mean, it'd be nice to keep the separation if we could. Should we see? Mm -hmm. Let's see what I've got. We may need to get inventive with the um, junction box handle. I may have to like, bend it. Yeah. So one of the issues that I was having on the bike is that I wasn't sitting properly on the saddle, which was throwing my body way too far forward, meaning that even though my legs were in the right position or a a good position, it was pushing me really far forward on the front of the bike. 
so Mike was going through a lot of handlebar arrangements, lots of different stems, lots of different angles of stem, um, because my legs were in a good position, but I'm sitting so far forward, it was affecting what was going on in the front of, of the bike. The first attempt of fixing this problem was simply lowering the bars. Um, we had put in the spaces, but we knew the bars were too high so we lowered the bars just to see where that would look for my body and it's, it's starting to look like a better time trial position again I'm constantly looking over to Mike and he's giving me feedback of what he thinks and asking me how I feel um, because at the end of the day I'm the one that's going to be sitting at, in this position and therefore if I'm not comfortable with it regardless of what the retool system is saying I need to be able to speak up and say this isn't comfortable or I can feel this or feel that so we can make the changes. Mike is currently putting on some sensors to accurately measure all of the angles of my body all the angles of my legs how they're working when they're cycling where they look in terms of an x and y plane and this is really just to check that the position that i'm currently in where it's at and potentially what i need to work on so you can probably see in the left hand corner there's a computer in front of me i can see the feedback in real time and then mike's monitoring it with his his laptop so while I'm in this position and uh, testing it out, I go through various powers, various cadences, just to work out what my body's doing, how it reacts, and if I shift in the position. Because one of the issues with doing bike fits is because it's a new position, you might think that that's how you're going to sit in a position, but that might not be the case when you start applying power to the bike. We then changed the stem to a slightly longer stem, but we decided that in the end the stem length with the narrow profile would make the bike too unstable the reason that we were playing so much around with the stem was that my saddle was in a really good position however after a period of cycling I would always push forward on the saddle um, this was down mainly to the fact that I could feel rubbing in the saddle so rather than changing the saddle of the saddle position we adapted the front end of the saddle so that it would be tighter so that I would be encouraged to sit further back in the saddle like I did when I wasn't under power so that then I could maintain a better more stable time trial position and this is the position that we got to towards the end with me now sitting better within the saddle being it more comfortable for me under power and then also having a reasonable stem length and narrow profile so that it's first of all aero but secondly comfortable enough that I can get off and run. Once the bike fit was completed Mike measured very accurately points around the bike which creates a accurate PDF file which you could essentially rebuild this bike anywhere around the world. That's very useful especially with traveling because if any part gets knocked or damaged you can simply just rebuild the bike using those measurements. Uh, as you can see it's now um, very very dark. Uh, I've spent ages with my cat Velo Motion in Milton Keynes. Um, he's been doing my bike fits all through my um, athletic performance from about 2015. Um, again, has always given way more time than he needs to. Today, I was there for three hours and um, I've got no contract or no links to him to say this. So this is purely just, you know, my opinion. Um, but he's a great guy. So if you ever have problems with your your bike position or you're getting pains on the bike or even if it's something where you know you're, you're getting some problems in the run sometimes your bike position can be the reason for why you're having problems on the run um, you just don't notice it because of the load changes between um, biking and running so um, yeah like I said bike position way more optimized way more aero so I'm um, looking for big things in the uh, next season I've got it done now so I've got time to prepare for the next races but yeah again bike position very important